met Jesus, I was hopeless. I was isolated, I had no purpose, and I was fearful. And then I met Jesus because my parents took us to church every Sunday, every Wednesday. Um, they were great examples of what it was like to be a Christian, um, and they surrounded us with believers. Went to college and decided that, that I was gonna lead my own life, um, and very quickly realized that that was not where I needed to be. Romans 3.23 says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so the first part in beginning a relationship with Jesus is that we need to admit that we're sinners. Life is hard. As a believer, sometimes I feel like we face more trials and got back on path when God sent me my husband. Actually, it was through my roommate that she was a believer. She was um, leading her life as a Christian and she introduced me and my future husband. He has been the best thing for me, for my walk, for my life, and just for my now kids. He is a Christ follower. He leads us, he leads his house, he sets the example for us, and he has changed our life for the better. Jesus wasn't just another teacher, he wasn't just a man, he was God's son. The scripture tells us that clearly, and the fact that he was resurrected on the third day after his death proves it. And so we have to believe in Jesus. We have to believe that he's the son of God. We have to believe that he died for our sins and we have to believe that he rose again so that we might have life. When I became a believer, I prayed a prayer, which the prayer does not save you, but it is just starting your relationship with Christ and starting that communication with Christ. And I just prayed, God, I, I am admitting that I am a sinner, that I need you, that I trust in you. So all you have to do is those three, A, B, C, admit, believe, and confess. God has a purpose for your life. You're not here by accident. He wants to know you, he wants to have a relationship with you, and he wants for you to live with a purpose of something that's greater than yourself. But if you'd like to know your sins are forgiven, if you'd like to know that you have uh, a relationship with the God who created you, you pray this with me right now. Dear God in heaven, thank you for loving me and thank you for Jesus. God, I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and my life and cleanse me. Today, I place my faith and trust in Jesus, your son, who died on the cross for me and rose on the third day so that I might have life. Today I trust Jesus and I confess him as my Lord. Amen. Now if you prayed that prayer just now and you meant it, everything's changed for you. Your sins are forgiven. Your Father in heaven loves you and wants to have a relationship with you. And we would encourage you to find a church near wherever you are. If you're in Weatherford and you'd like to, you're more than welcome to come to Greenwood. We would love to have you. Find a church nearby so that you can be around other believers who can help you grow in your relationship with Jesus. Thanks for watching today. We hope that your life has been changed by Jesus, whether it just happened or it's happened in the past. And we also hope that you will share this life-giving hope, these videos, to anyone that you know so that they too might have the joy of knowing Jesus. Blessings to you and everyone that you know, and hope you have a great day.